younger too. <laughs> You have some newcomers in this group, quite a few of them. Who are some of those guys that have kind of stood out and made themselves guys that maybe Wolfpack fans should familiarize themselves yeah, I was just, with? Yeah, I was just saying, you know, Jose Torres is a new guy that they should look at. He was a uh, highly uh, touted player out of high school for the Major League Draft, and you know, he comes in with a lot of promise. You know, Austin Murray is a junior college guy out of Minnesota who's come here with a lot of, you know, energy and looks like he's going to be a big help to us. And, uh we got some local guys, Sam Highfield, uh, Chris Villeman from High Point, uh, Matt Willison, who was just on the mound, Logan Bender. Um, and uh, so we got a lot of local guys that I think guys or fans have probably seen here play, and now they're going to get a chance to see them again. And uh, so we got some, got some good uh, young talent, and but you know, young talent takes time to grow, and hopefully the leadership that we have on this team and the way this team has bonded together since they've been here since August is going to help this team continue to grow. How much better does it make a pitching staff to have a guy like Patrick Bailey behind the plate? He means a lot. You cannot minimize what that does for a pitching staff. Every catcher I've ever known that's a good catcher um, makes, um, makes a pitcher better. And, and uh, if he takes it to heart and does what he's supposed to do, and you know, hopefully Pat can relax this year. It's a big year for him. Obviously, a lot of eyes on him. He gets all kind of accolades. He obviously knows so much money in the draft now. So that's got to be in a young man's mind. So he's going to have to relax to all that stuff and learn how to come out and have fun so his skills can show and, and not feel any any of the eyes on us. A lot of people, I mean, we're our first practice today. And we changed at 1130 because of the weather. And you look behind the screen for the first pitch, and there's 20 scouts right there. Seemed like there uh, a little bit of back and forth with Dalton Feeney last year, whether you're starting or coming out of the pen. Uh, have you have a set plan for him for this year? Not yet. We don't have really a set plan right now. We got to narrow down some things, and the pitchers will show us, you know, where their strengths are going to lie and where they fit into the team. So we have a lot of guys that are versatile, like Reed Johnston, Dalton Feeney, Cam Connor. A lot of guys that are versatile that can fill any role on our team. So we'll see what's best for the team and how it fits for them. Right now, uh, right now, we'll see how that works out. McDonough came in last year and a real big boost to the lineup. What does he need to do this year to elevate his game? I don't know if he needs to do anything to elevate his game. What's going to be tough for McDonough is we're going to have to get uh, Last year we had Will Wilson and Evan Edwards who, the, when you read our scout reports, you know you can't let these two guys beat you. Mm -hmm. And then Pat Bailey and Tyler McDonough were able to sit down in the background a little bit and you know flourish from that. So with Pat Bailey, when you read the scout report, as he stated this year, it's going to be say don't let Tyler McDonough Pat Bailey beat you, and uh, what uh, what we're gonna have to do is have some guys step up around them and uh, allow them to try to flourish in this game, and uh, without 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 getting pitched around too bad. So we had some had some guys fill in their roles last year as they as they did what they did for Will Wilson and Evan Edwards. Speaking of McDonough on occasion, you've had him move into the infield uh, instead of move from center field. Does that look like possibly a permanent change for this? Year? I tell you, I don't know because he is such a versatile guy. Right. And you know, if we keep, if we keep you know, catchers keep going down. You know, we lost Tresh for a while now. He, he broke, had surgery on his hand the other day, so Tresh is out, and that takes one of the catchers out. And he's also a catcher, but it's we're just trying to see where everybody can fit in. And J JT Jarrett's come back playing better than he's ever played since he's been here, and he started a lot of games, so he gives us another option at second base. And uh, but uh, McDonough can play second and. Uh, plays center and plays them both very, very well. So I guess it depends on are we going to need another guy in the outfield or are we going to need a, another guy in the infield. So it might be how well Jarrett plays as opposed to how well a Tatum or a Devontae Brown plays or a Johnny Buller is where McDonough winds up.